Hey there guys, welcome back, Ricky here. So a lot of people have been writing me asking me how to sharpen your knife's tip. Now this problem is not specific to those who are new to sharpening, but people who have been sharpening for years can also sometimes tell me that they have problems sharpening the tip and the heel of their blades. But today we're only talking about the tip. So here are five things you can do to remedy that. The first thing you can do is that when sharpening the tip of the knife, make sure you use the areas around the corners and the edges of the stone. This tip here achieves two things. The first, it allows you to apply wear to the areas of the stone that are normally neglected in regular sharpening. Most people sharpening on a whetstone will only use the very center of the stone. So by using the top and the bottom areas of the stone during tip sharpening, you allow the stone to stay flatter longer. And the second thing this teaches you is taking shorter strokes, which leads us to the second tip. When I'm sharpening the knife's tip using the push and pull, I typically go about an inch, inch and a half up and down. This allows me to make sure that I have the optimal control over my knife's tip and also allows me to know exactly where the knife's tip is going to be going. I also do longer strokes only on the sides of the stone. The third tip is steepening your sharpening angle from the belly to the tip. Here's what I mean. Most people when using a device such as a sharpening angle, they place that sharpening angle at the heel of the knife or in the middle of the knife, not at the tip. Um, this is actually more apparent when you're standing across from the person sharpening the knife. The sharpener has a harder time seeing this. You only know this by experience. And if you're trying to maintain the same sharpened angle at the belly and the tip, the knife actually flexes. So by bringing the spine up by one to two degrees, you compensate for that flex. When you don't compensate for that flex and you're sharpening at a very steep angle, say 10 to 12 degrees, you have a much higher chance of scratching the profile of the knife than if you were to bring that angle up to 13 or 14 degrees. You're more likely to notice the cosmetic difference than the actual performance difference. But what you'll notice if you look very carefully from the belly to the tip is that the cutting bevel is slightly wider than the rest of the knife. Again, that's more or less cosmetics and less to do with performance. But for those who are detail oriented, that might drive you kind of crazy. And tip number four, remember to go back and forth between the left side and the right side. It's very important that we keep our bevels the same as much as possible. That's not a really big problem because it's relatively easy to fix. It's more or less an eyesore than a performance hindrance. But the important thing is that's the easiest way to maintain your knife's cutting edge profile. The fifth tip is to remember that you're not just sharpening or fixing your knife's tip, you're sharpening the entire blade. The more evenly you distribute the sharpening time between the tip, belly, and the heel, the more consistent your edge will be. And if you've been doing a lot of push and pull on the very tip, make sure you do a couple of push and pulls where you integrate the belly and the tip in one smooth motion. That way, you maintain the most consistent transition between the tip and the knife's belly. And here is a bonus tip for those who like to strop after they sharpen and polish the knives on whetstones. On a strop, I have found that the easiest way to maintain a very consistent pull between the entire length of the blade is going from the heel to the tip. By doing it that way, you don't risk the knife cutting into the leather at all, and also you don't risk going tip first into the leather, which a lot of folks do, including myself. And for those who like going from tip to heel on both sides, I have found that doing a very slight J motion at the very tip of the blade to the belly will allow me to capture or strop the areas that are mostly missed when stropping. So by placing the tip of the knife on the strop, instead of doing a push right away, you do a lateral pull and slowly push upwards as you move through the length of the blade. You avoid the knife cutting into the leather if you are pushed too straight of a stroke. And you do the same thing with the other side. You simply place the knife's tip on the strop, pull towards the spine as you move the knife up through the strop. And remember, with stropping, each of your strokes are edge trailing strokes to avoid cutting into the leather. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you have any sharpening questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll read through every one of them and I'll do my best to answer all your questions. All right, folks, thank you so much for your time. I'll catch you in the next video.